Hi. Um, today I'm going to show you um, how to change the battery on a Tissot watch. And uh, this is a, a nice uh, Tissot here. Um, come in a nice blue box. So if I just show you the watch, it's quite a nice one. It's a Tissot V8, uh, it's a chronograph. Now um, the battery uh, has died, so uh, I need to uh, take the back off and uh, and um, change it. So if I just have a look, we have a look at the back. This is uh, it hasn't got the screw off type. The screw off type usually has one of these gadgets for unscrewing, but the back is a clip on type. You put a push on type. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just going to find a bit of uh, plastic to protect it. So if I put that there, it just stops it from scratching, um, but you just prise up the corner. I can't really show you very well here, but you just prise it up like that. It needs quite a bit of force, but uh, prise up in a corner. If it doesn't work in one corner, try one of the other three corners, and then uh, the back should pop off. This gadget's quite handy. Um, so the back's come off. Um, we've got the, the rubber seal there. Um, you can replace those rubber seals. Um, you can buy those in bulk uh, if you've got lots of watches. You can buy the rubber seal and, and just replace it. I'm not going to bother doing that today. I'm just going to change the battery. So um, I'll just, uh, here's the battery here. So I'm just going to uh, prise it out like so. Just, just move that seal over there. And pop the battery out. Now this um, battery is um, it's a uh, SR938SW, which is a number 394. It's a 1.55 volt battery. And I've got a Renato one here, which I'm just going to replace it with. So I'll just pop that out. And put the Renato one in. Like so. Pop that in. Simple. Uh, and then put the rubber seal on. And then pop the back on. Now you can push it um, but that's quite a task sometimes but I've got this gadget here so you could push that on um, I don't think we've got a problem with the glass we've got to be very careful with the glass because I have previously tried pushing on the back and I put my foot on it and I broke the glass on a watch so I've never done it since so um, this this gadget here it comes with loads of uh, it's a press it's got different size bases so you get the base that's gonna be safe enough for your watch glass so that goes around the metal like so it doesn't touch the glass so we put the force on the uh, on the metal so I'll put that in the press like so lay the watch carefully on that like so I think you can see that and now I'll just pop that on so uh, just line it up Make sure we've got it all lined up properly. And it should be fine. And we just uh, pop it on. It should just uh, click. I'm just going to have a look. See if that is on. So that is on nice and solid now. So um, that's what you do. You just press it on. And then uh, let's have a look. Is it working? Yep. It's ticking away there. Obviously, it's got a timer. Goes round, so I'm going to forget that one. And um, the second hand is turning round. We could adjust the time if we want to, to whatever time of day it is today. Oh, I haven't got my watch on. <laughs> watch is here. Anyway, um, so I'm not sure what time it is. Anyway, so you just adjust your time. And away you go, it's ticking away there. You've got the second hand going there. So uh, I hope you found that useful. Um, I say, uh, that's a, a Tissot V8 chronograph. Um, it's quite a nice watch actually. It's uh, inspired by 1960s racing, I think. Uh, nice leather strap. Um, okay, well, I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.